Complex contoured parts like this are machined from the solid on a large number of modern, numerically controlled machine tools. Although aircraft parts like this are now machined in a fraction of the time formerly taken on conventional machine tools, inspection methods have not kept pace with the advances in our production technology. NC machining has completely unbalanced the time-honored ratios between production and inspection man-hours. This aircraft component was machined in a few hours, yet this inspector will take 20 hours to inspect it using conventional surface plates and height gauges. To combat the rising costs of quality control and to bring the same benefits of NC methods to the inspection function of a factory, Sperry has pioneered the development of the fully automatic NC inspection center. One of these huge precision machines is now at work at the McDonnell Douglas plant to break the bottleneck in the quality control area created by the enormous productivity of NC machine tools. This inspection center with its four tape controlled axes and its 20,000 pounds capacity can handle the largest and most difficult parts produced on multi-axis NC machines. Despite its large size, which encompasses a measuring envelope of 120 by 76 by 36 inches, including a 48 inch diameter rotary table, the machine and its control are highly accurate and provide uniform, precise inspection results at high speed. All linear measurements derive from precision scales mounted along each axis and a rotary scale for polar coordinates mounted in the rotary table. All measurements are absolute and are made with reference to fixed origins. The numerically controlled inspection center consists of three major components. The machine, in this case built by Lucas Machine Division, the Sperry powered probe, and the UMAC-5 control. A key component of the system is this new fully automatic probe, developed by Sperry especially for this purpose. The probe can be positioned into five different attitudes from tape command and can measure in five directions in each attitude. In other words, the probe can fully inspect a blind hole in each of the five exposed sides of a cube without manual intervention. The probe uses quick change styli of various lengths and with various tip radii to suit the job. The styli are made of glass and have a conducting line painted on them. In the event of a programming error or other mishap, the glass stylus breaks and the rupture of the contact line shuts the machine down. A further safety measure to protect the probe is a wire mesh cage, which also stops the machine in case of collision. The probe is a nulling device and its purpose is to servo the machine axes to the surface to be measured. When this has been done, the control takes the coordinate measurements of the point from the measuring scales on the machine axes and processes the required data. The probe will repeat a null in any attitude or measuring direction within 50 millionths of an inch. The machine and probe operate under direction of the Sperry UMAC-5 control, which also processes the data derived from the machine and presents it in various forms. This solid state control is unique in that it contains a real-time digital computer that provides the necessary computations that are associated with inspection processes. In addition to calculating deviations and tolerance limits, 
the drum in the computer also stores many automatic machine cycles, such as hole center finding, stylus calibration, repetitive zero shifting, and so forth. In addition to the normal tape reader, which accepts standard EIA tape and coding, this UMAC-5 is also equipped with a high-speed tape punch, which is used to drive an electric typewriter. This arrangement prevents the typewriter from limiting machine speed. The typewriter presents the entire inspection process in clear, unambiguous format. The first column on the page indicates the sequence number. The next four columns on the page represent the nominal dimensions from the drawing. The next two are the allowed tolerance for each measurement. The next represents the actual dimension as measured by the machine. This is followed by the deviation between nominal and actual, and finally the amount by which the deviation exceeds the allowed tolerance in cases where it does. All this information is also available in punched tape, which can then be readily converted to operate NC drafting machines, or as computer input for statistical quality control analyses. The output of this inspection center is a wealth of vital data produced at high speed in permanent form and without clerical or arithmetic errors. An operator's console provides a manual control panel from which the operator can enter any programmable data including stored cycles such as whole center finding routines. The manual panel is frequently used for inspecting undimensioned parts such as models and experimental components. Measuring data is also presented in the form of visual displays, which assist the operator during work setup procedures. Normally, however, for production parts, the inspection process is fully automatic from tape input. The part being inspected here consists of various diameter rings, holes, and flat and conical surfaces. The command tape sends the probe to the nominal dimensions called up on the drawing. The probe seeks the point of desired measurement, stops the machine axes when it has established contact, and the control then determines the actual coordinates of the point and performs the computations necessary to provide the desired data. Finding hole centers and diameters is a simple procedure. The programmer programs the nominal center of the hole on the command tape, the depth at which he wishes to measure the center, and a special code. Acting on these commands, the probe enters the hole to the desired depth and then proceeds to measure a cord across the hole. Having done this, the computer bisects the measured cord and instructs the probe to erect a second cord on the center line of the first. Upon completion of this, a bisection of the second cord provides the control with the arithmetic center of the hole, and this is then printed out. This high-speed process is fully automatic and can be used for any size hole. Similar cycles are provided in the control to establish the center line of slots or keyways and square or oblong cavities. The inspection center reduces a difficult and time-consuming job to a matter of seconds and simultaneously creates accurate, consistent records of all measurements. Another fully automatic cycle provided by the control to lend complete automation to the inspection process is the probe qualifying routine. When a new stylus is inserted in the probe with a new length and tip radius, the operator enters a series of codes on the control panel.
This causes the probe to move to a point on the machine where there is located a precision gauge block. The UMAC-5 computer has stored in its memory the precise dimensions of the block and now instructs the probe to measure its stylus as to length and tip radius against this reference in all possible attitudes and directions. Each time a measurement is made, the value is stored in memory against the attitude and direction used and is then automatically computed as an offset when measurements are subsequently made on the part under inspection. This vital feature eliminates the need for precision styli as any anomalies of straightness or roundness are automatically calibrated out by the UMAC-5 computer. This automatic routine also means that the measurements printed out are absolute part dimensions and need no further processing for stylus compensation. These are the features that for the first time provide the same high degree of productivity to inspection processes that the NC machining centers have brought to metalworking. This part that was inspected manually in 20 hours at McDonnell Douglas just recently is now being inspected in 27 minutes on their new inspection center. And similar spectacular savings are made on a wide variety of machined parts. Year by year, as reliability demands increase, tolerances tighten, and our production methods improve, it becomes more costly and difficult to control quality economically. The Sperry NC Inspection Center is an accurate, versatile tool to reduce these costs and bring flexible automation to mechanical inspections.